everybody. Welcome back to the asylum. It's a beautiful day. We spent a long weekend in Kentucky riding around in the hills together. My wife and I and a couple hundred of our friends. And now we're back home, back in the shop, time to get to work. I got some really great news. I have a sponsor for this channel now. It's a, I'm an official internet partner for WeBikeJapan.net, which is a large online partner seller specializing in all sorts of vintage, custom, and original parts for all kinds of motorcycles. This is my 1982 C70 Passport. It is a full custom. As, as you can see, it's got all kinds of modifications on it. Bring the camera in closer. Let's start with the paint. Zoom in on the side cover here. The paint and the knobs. For example, you see this paint. That is a color called Firethorn Pearl Red. The knob is 3D printed. One of the things that always irked me about these little Hondas, they always had different color knobs and frame plugs and everything. So I'm 3D printed my own frame plugs. So the knob matches the swing arm plug which matches the front fork plug. So they're all working in harmony. They all look the same. Have this custom seat. This seat was purchased overseas from Thailand. Up front here, we have the extended brake lever and the custom brake knob. Those came from WeBike. Walk around here a moment. There's all kinds of things on this bike. As you'll notice, we got 72 spoke wheels on the front and back. This sub damper kit right here is made by Takagawa and it is sold by Wee Bike. Again, you can see all the, all the wheels, the chrome shocks. Of course, one of my favorite things is around on that you view on this side, and you heard it as I was coming up, is the stainless steel exhaust system. That is a wireless wind system. I purchased that from Wee Bike. Although hard to see through the leg shield, the engine has an 88cc kit that is available. There are all kinds of goodies that they make for these little bikes that are really good. I think the sum, this bike is way more than the sum of its parts. Walk slowly around it, let you get a good look at it. It's had a very successful show career. A couple of best of show awards and several best in class awards for custom. So it does really well. I've been happy with it. But I still ride it sometimes as a neighborhood cruiser. One of the things you'll notice that I have done here. If you know anything about the 1982 passports. You know that they originally had square turn signal lenses. That were mounted on stalks that stuck off the handlebars down and away to spread them out further. I replaced those with early Cub style turn signals. A lot of gold paint on this thing. The interesting thing about the Firethorn red paint, this paint has not been buffed out. It's a single stage pearl paint and they highly recommend that you don't buff it out. But that means you have to spray it extra slick. As I said, I would like to thank our new online internet partner, WeBikeJapan.net. I highly recommend you go shopping with them. Like I said, they carry a variety of custom of vintage and OEM parts for all types of cycles of all different years.
So, with that being said, that pretty much concludes this video. And I'm going to ride off into the shop, probably. <laughs> and put it back in neutral so it'll start. There we go. That exhaust system sounds good.